Former Olympic soccer player Shannon Box has hung up her cleat to take on a new role as an advocate for lupus awareness. Box played for years on the women's gold medal winning soccer team in spite of the disease, keeping her diagnosis secret from everyone but one teammate. She has since gone public with her battle and wants to help others by telling her story as Lupus Awareness Month begins in May. Shannon Box joins us now along with GSK rheumatologist Dr. Tanya Gonzalez Rivera. Welcome. Hi, thank Hi. you. It's great to talk to you. Shannon, tell us about your lupus diagnosis. Um, I was diagnosed with lupus in 2008. Um, I was a professional athlete starting in 2001, and the t first time I felt my symptoms was in 2002. Um, like I said, I was, I was playing at the elite level at that time, and I just remember feeling this extreme fatigue and knowing that that was very unusual for me. And it was even difficult to walk up a set of stairs. And so I went to the doctors, and it took multiple doctor's visits and multiple doctors. And after six years, um, I was finally diagnosed with lupus. Um, within that journey, I just really learned how important it was to... Um, be open and honest with my with my doctor and, and to kind of be that self-advocate. I mean, I definitely pushed for answers, um, which took a very long time to get. Six years is a long time. So, doctor, why is diagnosing lupus so difficult? So, lupus is a very complicated disease. It's an autoimmune syndrome that can affect any organ, skin, joints, kidney. No two patients are the same, so that makes it a little bit harder to, to sort of pinpoint a diagnosis. Um, it can mimic other diseases um, with the symptoms that it can cause. And also, um, there's no specific blood test to get the diagnosis. So it takes a long time, and it's not a typical to, have, to hear stories like Shannon's, where it takes a long time to sort of put all that together and for patients to get to their doctors and have that conversation. Well, I have a cousin that has a, had a lupus diagnosis, and like um, Shannon, it took years to really pin down what was going on. So, Dr. Gonzalez, what are the most common symptoms? So, the most common symptoms include joint pain, fatigue, there's hair loss, rashes, sensitivity to the sun. Um, but again, no two patients are the same, and because symptoms can occur in a span of many years, it takes a long time to put everything together. And, and in Shannon's case, it took six years, and, and, and your family member as well. So it's very important to, to be aware, and that's why we're so happy and, and, and glad that ja Shannon joined us today and partnered with us at GSK to be able to raise awareness and, and make sure that more people know about this disease. Well, Shannon, tell us what life is like for you now after the Olympics and after your professional soccer career and you have this diagnosis of lupus. Yeah, um, life is a bit different now that I'm done playing soccer. Um, I have two beautiful kids and um, they keep me super busy. Um, <laughs> but they've also really made me um, aware and, and of how important it is to make sure I stay on top of my disease and to take care of myself for them. Um, it's very important for me to know that in the future I'm going to be able to get on the floor with them. I'm going to be able to run around just as my mom did for me playing all my different sports. So, um, you know, I've, I've done a really good job of, of really keeping that open communication with my doctor. Um, again, I, I just truly am a self-advocate for myself. I understand my disease. I um, listen to my body. Um, but the biggest thing that I will say that I've done over the last couple of years is just really surround myself with people that support me um, support and understand what I'm going through and what the disease is because they've really been my rock on helping me manage my symptoms, um, friends, family, doctors. Um, they've helped me kind of um, keep my, um, my lupus to a point where I can live an active and independent life. Well, so let me say a question. How does, it, how does it affect your active lifestyle? Are you able to maintain the lifestyle that you want? I am at this point. Um, I, I, you know, I worked really, really closely with my doctor to, to come up w with a plan that works for me. Um, every single patient is very different and, and their symptoms are very different. And so the best advice I can give is to really work with your doctor and to stay on top of that. Um, but yeah, you know, lupus is with me every single day. Um, you don't know when a flare is going to happen. And, you know, you, the more and more you can understand your body, maybe figuring out things that trigger um, a flare um, so that it kind of gives you warning when things can come. Because with two little kids, I don't have time to have a bad day, but I'm going to. And so can I make sure that I'm 
trying to minimize how strong that, that flare is going to be um, really helps me um, on knowing that I can get up the next day and, and really be with my kids. Well, Shannon, thank you for that information. It really is hard to balance motherhood with everything else, let alone having a diagnosis of lupus. It is. Um, well, Dr. Gonzalez, where can people go for help? Um, I'm managing the lupus. It sounds like it's a it's a, almost a full-time job managing lupus. It is, it is. But there are great resources out there, and there's a website called usinlupus.com, which provides patients with a lot of tools, skills, and provides them with the confidence to have those conversations with their physicians in order to be partners in, in their treatment and ultimately be able to lead that active life, take care of their kids, and enjoy a happy life. Excellent. If there's one word of advice, Shannon, you could give somebody that might be facing a new diagnosis of lupus, what could you tell them? Um, you know, my best advice, uh, again, would be just to really get that support. Um, I know for a lot of years playing, I kept it quiet and kept it secret from my teammates and my, and my coaches. And um, it was a very lonely feeling. And I think that once I was open about it and open to the public and open to my teammates who I was around, you know, 200 and something days a year, it just really gave me that relief that I wasn't alone in this fight. And, you know, going to um, websites like usinlupus.com, there's so many resources there, tools and things that you can use to give you confidence to speak to your doctor, but to also realize that there's other people going through the same thing that you're going through. And I think that makes you feel that you can, you can fight this and you can and have an active, independent life. And it makes you feel better. Well, thank you, Shannon, for sharing your story. I know it's inspirational for others that are facing this. And Dr. Dr. Gonzalez, thank you so much for all of your information to help people learn to manage the lupus. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Stacey. Have a, thank you. Have a great day. You, you too. too.